on a Mac, the Excel command for the normal distribution is as follows. Norm.dist of x, the value that we're trying to calculate, mu the mean, sigma the standard deviation, and then true for the cumulative portion of the formula. So for example, based upon what I wrote there, that would be with regards to the following area as uh, drawn on here. Where we have the normal distribution, mean of mu here, and we have a value x, let's call that here. And the area, when we say for that norm.dist, this would be this area here in red to the left of that value for x. Now, for example, let's say if we want to find the probability of x is less than 5, when it has a mean of 10 and a standard deviation of 2, so norm.dist of 5, 10, 2, comma true, that picture would be based upon this picture. So mean here of 10, we have a value of 5 over here-ish, and the area that that refers to is over here on the left-hand side. And when we type this into Excel to find the actual probability, this would be equal to norm dot dist 5 comma 10 comma 2 comma true and that would be equal to 0 0.006 so that'll make 0 0.006 as the probability to the left of this value of 5 Likewise, for if we want the probability of x is greater than 5, right? that's just at the picture that I just drew up there. Just like that picture. So the mean of 10, 5 is one here-ish. But now we want the area to be on the right-hand side of that. So that's all of this area. Okay? So... Um, on Excel, we would type 1 minus norm.dist of 5, 10, 2, and then true, which should give us 1 minus that value we just got up here of uh, 0.0016. But just to show what that looks like, uh, 1 minus norm.dist of 5, 10, 2, comma true. And as predicted, if we did 1 minus this value of 0 0.006, we get 0.994. So that gives us the value of 0 0.994. If we want to find the probability between two numbers, let's say 3 and 10, right? that is going to look like this. Now, mind you, 10 being right here, that's our mean, ain't it, already? and three would be someplace down here-ish. So we just want this area here. Now because 10 is our mean, that means we're going to have 50% of the data less than this value of 10. Less than this value of 10 is 50% of the data. With regards to that normal distribution, and as such, we can then take the value of that 50% or a half and then subtract from that norm.dist of 3, 10, 2, true to get this area here in red. So when putting that into Excel, that looks like this. So 0.5 minus norm.dist 3, 10, 2, and true. Again, that's for this area here instead of red, which, since three is such a low number, and my picture did not do that justice, um, 
the value for that just gives us back 0.5, and that's due to the fact that if we typed in norm.dist 3, 10, 2, and true, it gives us a very, very, very low number of 0 0.00002. So when we subtracted that from 0.5, it's very, since it's such a small decimal, we get an answer very close to that, which is indeed exactly what we would expect as 0.4998. And then finally, for that to say the values between 3 and 9, okay, so we have a mean of 10, 9 is about here-ish, 3 down here, and we've had this entire area here. So doing that now, we want to take norm.dist of 9, 10, 2, and true for this area here to the left of 9, and then subtract from that the area of the left of 3 here, in order for us to get this um, area here inside of red. So typing that inside of Excel would make this norm.dist of 9, 10, true and then true minus norm.dist of 3, 10, 2, and true. And that it gives us, in this particular case, an area of 0.3083. So those are examples then using the Excel on Mac feature. Um, let me know if any of those don't work since, again, as we've seen with other features, sometimes these things do not work as nicely as we wished. But thank you.